Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas, world! I'm Cedric. And I'm Brian, and this is Cedric and Brian. Merry Christmas, buddy. Merry Christmas, man. Merry Christmas. Well, this is like probably absolutely one of my most favorite times of the entire year. I love celebrating Christmas. And Brian, I thought it'd be a good idea for us to celebrate what some of our Christmas traditions were for us as kids growing up and maybe we did for our kids growing up as well. And so we want to share them with you. And before I forget, share in the comments what some of your favorite Christmas traditions were and what you guys did and how you guys celebrated Christmas. And I would love to read about them in the comments. But uh, should I go first or do you want to go? Yeah, no, go ahead. Okay. Well, I had to, and this is kind of sad because I'm getting up in age, so I had to call my sister uh, about an hour ago and say, hey, what are some of the traditions that we used to do when we were little? And um, as she was talking, it came back to me and I had really fond memories. Um, Christmas was huge around our house because my dad is one of nine. Uh, my mom came from a big family, my dad from Mississippi, my mom from Alabama. And so our house was always the house where everybody gathered together around big holidays like Thanksgiving and Christmas and all that stuff there. So one thing that we always did was Christmas Eve, was huge for us because we would all get together and I would get like this brand new suit. And it was like a three piece with the, the vest that buttoned up and the jacket that buttoned up. And I think it was polyester, like 99% polyester, 1% cotton, something like that. <laughs> and my dad had this strict rule that we could open up one present, one present on Christmas Eve. And then we would go to church and then we would come back and my dad would lay out a plate of cookies and a glass of milk and my sister and I would go to bed and we were just like super anxious because we wanted to open up more gifts, but we were like teased with that one gift and that's all we could open up. <laughs> and then my dad went so far, I even did this to my son one time. My dad was a practical joker like I was. One Christmas day I woke up and my dad had overturned the, the, the chair and overturned the, the coffee table and he had got an old black boot from a thrift store or something like that and laid it out in the middle of the floor and knocked down the grate from the chimney and that was my dad's way of saying that he had woken up in the middle of the night and he had wrestled with Santa Claus <laughs> to try and get more toys for my sister and I. I was upset because now you screwed it up for me and my sister for the rest of our life because who fights with Santa Claus? <laughs> and my dad was like, well, he shouldn't have broken into the house and things like that. And I was trying to capture him. So I was scarred. I'm still going to, I got therapy session next week, as a matter of fact, <laughs> for that. And uh, Christmas day was cool. We'd get up, uh, we'd, we'd go to church. Uh, we come back and then that's when me and my sister could act like savages and, and Vikings and just tear into the gifts and open them up and throw the wrappers everywhere and, and open the gifts. But the one thing that I really remember, was, which was really cool, is that, I forgot to mention this, every Christmas Eve, my mom would read this classic to us, "'Twas the Night Before Christmas." And I'm trying, I was trying to think of like the big impact gift that I got all throughout my childhood and I think I'm gonna date myself here. I remember getting like the Atari. Did you have an Atari? Mm. <laughs> got the Atari. I don't know if I ever got to Nintendo. Pong. Pong. Yeah. <laughs> For your kids, that was advanced. Look it video. up. Google it. But the things I remember, I remember most was wasn't any big present like a. I know, yeah, I got a bike, but I couldn't tell you what brand it was or the game. But I remember those moments when my mom would read this book to my sister and I, and we'd make cookies. And to that, I have to say the cheesy cliche, you're gonna love this. It wasn't so much the presence, but the presence of, you know, being with, was that too, that was, you know, we're gonna keep that in. But seriously, it was. It wasn't the presence, it wasn't the toys, it was the presence of family, being around and, and cooking and eating and laughing and all that good stuff there. So that was kind of some of our Christmas traditions. Good, yeah. I like it. We, we didn't mention at the beginning, like our, like our digs, we wore these what two years ago to the uh, the pub crawl yes. that we go to. And I think yes. some guy thought I actually got my suit from Italy. And I'm like, <laughs> yeah, no, didn't come from Italy. You can see where you can see where my mine came from. Talking of traditions, so I was trying to think back when you mentioned it. We did have one tradition. It was the same thing. We got to open one gift also, and our parents would let me and me and my sister. I have a sister, Heidi, who's the closest to my age, so. My older sisters and brothers were actually already teenagers by the time basically we were going through our Christmas, you know, fun. So, but we all got to open our gifts, uh, one gift, and we would just, we would usually go to a party first with a neighbor, and we couldn't wait to get home just to, uh, to open that gift. So that was a Christmas tradition, and now we do it, my wife does it with uh, our family, and it's always 
uh, a new pajama that we're going to wear the next morning. So it's, it's a Christmas pajama. So that's been the tradition. My wife was just actually looking at at uh, stuff before this Christmas uh, for a, for our Christmas morning also. We couldn't afford pajamas. <laughs> So I carried on some of the traditions that my family and my parents did for me. I've carried on with my kids. So I remember growing up when I was little, the house we had uh, had a like a double door that would separate the living room and my parents' master bedroom from the rest of the house. It was a small house, but it still had that separation. Well, on Christmas, my dad would always close that and we weren't allowed to go past that door because that's where the living room was. That's where all the gifts were. So we would be in anticipation just sitting on the other side and of course we'd have to wait for my parents to have their coffee and, and all that and we were we get excited. So in my house we Did you this. feel I cut you off. Did you feel your parents prolonged that on purpose just to torture you? I think I think they did. I think they knew that anticipation. <laughs> it's like let's make them wait just a little it, bit longer. But I think that's part of the fun. So what I do with my kids is we have a two-story house, is I make them sit on the top of the stairs and they have to wait there and sometimes their cousins will be here until we say, okay, you can come on down. And then they would scream running down the stairs so that they could go in down and see the living room. Because, you know, when you're little, sometimes you'd have those big boxes or maybe a bike, and you didn't want them to see it. Mm -hmm. I'm stepping on your toes here, and you're probably going to get to it. That's okay. But as you, now knowing you as an adult, you and Azure now, you guys had a music tradition, don't you? Oh, yes, that? yes, yes, yes. So, about, gosh, I don't know when it started. And, in fact, let's listen to that for a minute here. Yo, you, you dog, how are you this feeling? Is? Just chillin' like Frosty, little MC Literally Tiny Tot. How about you lay down rap for us? Girl, you gotta be kidding. I can lay down a rap as smoothly as Santa slides down a chimney. You think your rhymes are all that? Oh, come on, Tiny Tot. Why are you trying to play me like that? All right, dog. Let's see what you got. I'll be spending the ones and twos. Kick it! <laughs> But I started when my daughter was about three, my youngest was about three, she's 17 now. Have I known you that long? Well, you, yeah, you have. Oh yeah, you knew me before she was born. So we, I started, I do music, I have a studio. So I would do Christmas songs, usually standards. I would do the music for it, and then I would have the family sing. So my daughter would sing, my son would sing, and and uh, we would do that every year. We did that for maybe five or six years until they got older. And then one year, was I the first? Was I on the first CD? Was I the very? No, first you were one of the last CDs. She was much older then. Okay. She was like right. seven or eight by the time you guys did it. Okay. Yeah. So Cedric, one year, uh, Cedric, I said, Cedric, come join us on our Christmas CD. So he sang. This song that you're hearing in the background, and then we did um, a "Give Us a, Some Figgy Pudding" song. Remember, we did, we all did that at the end, and then we, but but it was something. So I would. This is back when there was CDs. Mm -hmm. So I would burn CDs, and then we would hand them. Those would be our Christmas cards to family. So we would mail those out, and then as time went on, then it became we would just upload it to the internet, and then give them an e-card, and they can listen to the CD. Do you have to explain what CDs are? We don't have that young of an audience, do we? No, I think they all know what CDs okay. are. All right. And they might not know where records are, but... I, I know they don't know what records are. But, yeah, so that was a, a nice tradition. Uh, I'll include some of that on this video. But like I said, Brian, I just, we just thought it'd be kind of cool to share some of our Christmas traditions. And again, like I said at the beginning of this video, we'd love to hear from you guys. And you guys have been great about leaving comments, but this time of the year, especially my, being one of my favorite times of the year, leave your comments in the comments section about, hey, this is what our families did when I was a child, or this is what our family does now that I'm an adult. And it'd be, it'd be nice to read and find out what you guys do to, to celebrate this, this Christmas holiday. And from Cedric and myself, we all wanted to wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And before we go, just for Cedric... I'm going to speak loudly. Until next time, I'm Cedric. And I'm Brian. We'll see you later. <laughs> <laughs> we represent. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> a lollipop, you. A lollipop, you. It's Christmas time in Hollis, Queens. Mom's cooking chicken and collard greens. Rice and stuff and macaroni and cheese. And Santa put gifts under Christmas trees. Decorate the house with lights at night. Snow's on the ground, snow white so bright. In the fireplace is the Yule log. Beneath the mistletoe as we drink eggnog. The rhymes you hear are the rhymes of Daryl's. But each and every year we bust Christmas carols. Miss Carol, Miss Carol. Miss Carol.